Day two of the Commonwealth Youth Games in full swing. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keisha Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Topping news, beach volleyball, tennis, rugby, and swimming were some of the sports on the agenda for today's games. The more than 1,000 athletes competing in the games descended on the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium last night to attend the official opening ceremony. In declaring the games open, Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, used the opportunity to remember what would have been the 99th birthday of former South African leader, the late Nelson Mandela. The Bahamas government was pleased to host the 1985 Commonwealth Heads of Government, which agreed to the Nassau Accords. The Nassau Accords led to the eventual release of Mr. Mandela from prison after 27 years and played a role in the eventual dismantling of the apartheid system. In this spirit, let us celebrate at these games the ideals and values of the Commonwealth, including those of peace, freedom, and common purpose for progress and a better and more just world. We'll have more on the Commonwealth Youth Games opening ceremony coming up in ZNS Total Sports. Meantime, we invite you to tune into the parliamentary channel 402 for a live continuing coverage of the 2017 Commonwealth Youth Games.